What's going on YouTube? Sam Avs here and today we're back for another debut video but today's debut is not just going to be one player it's going to be multiple players and what I mean by that is going to be all the player of the month cards so today they released the player of the month or the player of the month program for July and it came out with actually a lot of solid cards you have an 88 Jonathan Scope He's 90-91 against righties with 81-88 against lefties. He usually plays well above his attributes, so I'm kind of excited for this card. I mean, he's going to be a BR beast, but we'll see how he does in ranked seasons. He has 82 fielding, 92 arm strength, 67 reaction, and 61 speed. So you can actually play him at shortstop with that arm strength. He should be fine. They also released a 90 overall Grand Doll. Again, Grand Doll. Another player who plays way above his attributes. He's going to crush righties. He's, he'll be okay against lefties. 64 vision. He has good fielding behind the plate with 83 blocking. The problem with this card is the 7 speed. Again, I'm debuting him, but I don't see him lasting on my team. 90 overall. Switch hitter. Not a bad card, but I just can't have someone that's basically running in quicksand on my squad. We also have 93 overall Ramon Liriano. This card actually looks pretty good. 97 contact with 96 power against righties 109 contact is lefty so his pci will be bigger with the 73 power he is 80 fielding 99 arm strength as he should have 89 vision and 79 speed we have edwin diaz who has a four seam slider change up his per nines look great i'm not usually a big fan of edwin diaz but i will try to get him into this game see how he does but the main card the july boss 99 overall james paxton this dude looks insane 97 mile an hour forcing 81 knuckle curve 90 cutter 85 changeup, and a 95 sinker so as always guys he is a sinker cutter combo he is a fastball that's gonna top 99 maybe 100 knuckle curve change up he looks insane 96 stamina 107 hits per nine 97 case per nine 91 walks per nine or 94 walks per nine with the 82 control so he should be easy to control 92 homers per nine with the 96 below 90 break i mean he looks phenomenal and you can prestige him and get him even better plus three at everything with higher velo so this car looks phenomenal here this is our team for today we got liriano in left scope at second grandall at catcher put diaz there and obviously we're going to be starting the main man james paxton so this team should be good. We'll see how they do. We're currently on Hall of Fame. If you guys enjoyed the videos, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. While you're there, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. As we find our opponent, he has Hal Newhouser on the mound. He has Mike Trout, Mickey Mantle, Jim Tomey, Gary Sheffield, Cano, his cap, Belly, and Vizio. This is actually a great lineup for packs in the face. He has multiple left-handed hitters and guys who do not hit that well against lefty. So we'll see how he does all day oh my yeah i'm not gonna be able to touch a pitch this game i'm not gonna be able to touch a pitch two two let's see what happens oh my why does he gotta do that that is honestly just rude oh wow okay or we're just gonna line out that works too Yeah, this is going to be a problem. I should have took batting practice before the game. All right, James. We're really here for you. Please. We're going to need you to dot this game. We're going to start out with a sinker. First pitch is right down the middle. Look at Big Poppy getting all up in the dirt. We got one down. We're just going to go knuckle curve here. Low and in. Maybe he'll chase it. Or he's going to hit it right to Larry. He's under it. He makes the play. We got two down. I think my man maybe seen Paxton well. He's taking a lot of good pitches. We got him. Blew it by him. So we got a one, two, three inning. Oh, so poppy. How? How is that gone? I've been getting a lot of those recently. My PCI is nowhere near the ball. But guess what? We'll take it. We take a one nothing lead. All right, we worked the full count. Come on, Chef. Hit one hard. And we swing a ball for it. I'm just so good at this game. Too bad we're not facing a righty, so Grand Dog has the 90 pop. I 
and he just cannot catch up to a fastball right now. The game is happening. I am so early on the changeups, and I cannot catch up to the fastballs. There we go. And of course, it's the line out. I mean, but it'd be like that. It'd just be like that. Can I not throw sinkers down the middle? Ooh, the cutter is very easy to spot. I like that. See ya. We got one down. I mean, that's just a dot. He cannot sit back because he's trying to he's trying to turn on the fastball, so he's so early on this cutter. He's gonna drop another one. See ya! Back to back strikeout. We got two down. Wow. We struck out the side that inning. Paxton has been dirty. We got 891 coming up. We need more. Oh, look at Scope. Is it going to be a double? Probably not, right? Yeah, that's Mickey. There's no way we're going to change that. But we'll take the leadoff single, bring it up, Paxton. See if we can move Scope over to second. Oh, that is a perfect bunt. Hey, let's go, Paxton. So we got a guy at second. One down. Here comes Mickey. Just dotted my life away. What how? And then he throws that. Oh, we're, that's not being caught. It is being caught. Get back. He's out. That ball just completely died. That ball looked like it was going to hit the wall. And it just died and went right to Trout's Club. You just hate to see it. And then, he, of course, he gets a leadoff single. Why would he not? First pitch pop out. Thank you very much. Oh, turn that. Oh, look at Big Poppy barehanding it. 43 speed? Wait, how Newhouser has 43 speed? There was no way he should have beat that out. Oh, Larry, I'm gonna need you to get there, Larry. I'm gonna need you to get there. Let's go. So James Paxton has three shutout innings. We got two, three, four coming up. Can we just get some solid hits? That's all we want. That one too. To the ball! That ball went straight to my PCI. Larry Walker, still the second best outfielder in the game. We take a 2-0 lead. Oh my goodness, Big Poppy. Lefty, lefty, to the ball! We get another perfect, perfect. Poppy does it again. Okay, well maybe I should just put all lefties in my lineup and just go lefty lefty because that's the only thing I'm good at right now. Cause I can't go, I can't hit my righties. Hell is so bad, guys. You guys have them. Take them out of your rotation right now. There, there are so many pitchers that are better than Hal in this game. He's just, he's just so hittable. And we will take the walk. So we have a guy at first. One down. Here comes Grandall. Oh, right through the hole. That is amazing hitting. We're finally getting our timing down. Oh. And that's why you can't have someone with seven speed on your team. It's okay. I think Ramon got his. That one's not. That one's gonna be caught. This is what I'm saying. These balls are dying. Those look like they're easily off the wall and they're just dying. It's okay though. We have a three nothing lead and we need Paxton to keep pitching the way he is. Oh my. If you're gonna dot that pitch, James, he may be unhittable. Oh no. And then I throw Singer down the middle. Can't be throwing that to Mickey. Let's get a roll over here. That's the rollover we wanted. We got two down. My mans cannot figure out his cutter right now. We're just completely dotting it. I mean, look where that pitch is. Like, realistically, what are you going to do to that? Nothing. The problem is, I keep throwing a sinker right down the middle. Okay, can Poppy... 
Poppy's moving this oh. game. Damn. Just missed that from that being a no-doubter. Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Look at the look at that PCI and the ball. Like, how is that not a no-doubt bomb? That is a changeup right down the middle. Perfectly placed up, good timing, and the ball just dies. I, I don't get it. One 99. Ball, that is heat. Well, let's go back to that. Why not? I mean, it was so late on it. I think he'll be late again. Hey, not as late, but at least he pops it up to Mickey. Who's under it? We got one down. Oh, no. Uh oh Can't throw a cutter down the middle. He started to make a little bit of adjustment and hitting that cutter that he wasn't touching earlier in the game, but at least that's an easy pop-up, so we got two down. I think his pitcher's coming up? No, it's Biggio. We gotta get this out. Let's let's make the pitcher lead off next inning. There we go. First pitch fly out. Mickey's under it. So we give up the one run, but I mean, mistakes happen. We do a cutter right down the middle. Let's try to score more. We got two, three, four coming up. Let's see if Walker and Ortiz can do it again. I'm calling up and in fastball here. We got to turn on it. Hopefully we're not super early. Oh, oh wow. That's a dot. <laughs> that was mean. We just missed that. That ball should have been sent into the Budweiser section in the field, but instead we dropped our PCI. But here comes Big Poppy. Two for two, two tanks. Great, great at bat by Poppy. This is the seventh pitch. See, we can do some damage. Oh no, that was the pitch. Just missed it again. Okay, yeah, we, we cannot allow Henderson on base here. Probably throw a pitch down the middle here. Poppy, thank you. No 99 speed on the bases. This man has a 363 average with Trout and a 365 OBP. How is that even possible? He is fouling off every pitch I'm throwing him and usually when that happens, Trout takes me deep. Just kidding, we got him. Two down. First pitch, Mickey swinging and he flies out the Mickey. So we have a three one lead. We need to score more. This two-run lead is not comfortable. Ooh, he's he bringing in the new Edwin Diaz. All right. We get the face in before we use him later in the game. Gary? 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 Gary! My boy does it. We take a four-to-one lead. Oh, that is... Oh, actually, that was better timing than I... Actually, that's just not a good swing. I, I was going to say that's not as bad swing as I thought it was, but that was a pretty bad swing. Oh, we'll sit back, though. We'll sit back and hit that up the middle. So we have first and second. We are not taking packs in now. He's pitching great through six innings. I'm just not seeing the ball well right now. Yeah, I was late on that. I'm just, I just did not see the ball well off Edwin. Still have a three-run lead. We need Paxton to hold it, get us through the eighth inning, and let Edwin Diaz close it out. That'd be perfect scenario. Chase it. He was that early. He's getting rewarded. Larry. I mean, do you want to pick up the ball, Larry? I cannot believe he's got a hit off that. We got him. One down. See ya! Back to back strikeouts for Paxton, which brings up his cap. The only one who's done damage to us. Let's just not throw him a cutter down the middle. Okay, 0 2. We're gonna go down into the dirt. Please chase it. Oh, you. This game. This game. 
Well, at least we got out of the inning, but I feel... Never mind. It don't matter. We got out of the inning. Pax is doing what he does, and he has a very nice pitch count if you guys saw what it was. Oh, my goodness. We're replaying that. To the moon! I mean, Larry Walker is just too good. I mean, look how beautiful this is. You throw him a fastball, he's going to crush it. That only went 397 feet. Oh, my goodness. Ernie Banks is just way too good. I mean, Billy Wagner honestly may be the worst reliever in this game. I'm not even kidding. He just always gives up moonshot after moonshot. We take a 6-1 to one lead. Yeah! We're getting our timing back down. I think we can go back to back to back. Get Poppy third of the game. Nope, because I'm late on it. I just missed that. I thought I got all of that, and that is just not a good swing. I think we have six solo homers, and that's how we have all our runs this game. It's pretty wild. Come on, Grandal. See if we can do it from the left side. You can do that. Perfect, perfect line drive. I need this pitch dotted. Oh, we're right down the middle. Another early hit. Please go to second. I was going to say. All right, you got a leadoff guy on. We need a double play. Oh, this is how it's going to be, huh? Two early hits that just find the holes. So now he has his leadoff guy on. Sometimes it'd be like that. Uh -oh. That's what happens. You give up two early hits and you throw a hanging curveball. We got him. Two down. Wow, he actually chased that. And we got, are we going to, Grandall? Thank you, Grandall. So we get, it ended up giving up. Four runs on eight innings from Paxton. That's a good debut nonetheless. We got Edwin Diaz coming into the ninth inning. We just need a couple more runs. Let's lock down the save. Damn, we slider right down the middle. and We just rolled over. We got to hit that better. Right back up the middle. Okay, there we go. So we get a, maybe we get a little two-out rally. We got Tommy on first. Here comes Mickey. Ah, uh, we I wanted the ball that hung and he just it was just a nasty changeup. Okay, we got a two-run lead. He has two lefties, his Cano, his cap, and belly. So probably three lefties against Edwin Diaz. Edwin, you better not blow this. He almost took me deep on another early swing, but he's popped up to Larry. He's under it. We got one down. Thank you, Larry. I mean, if that dropped again, at least Larry the Legend's there to make the play. Don't hit it out. Scope, scope. Oh, there we go. What a play by Jonathan Scope. GG. Let's check out the box score. So we got the dub six to four. James Paxton went six innings, seven hits, four runs, and 10 strikeouts. I mean, that's a hell of a debut. A debut if you ask me, Poppy and Larry Walker both went deep. So did Ernie Bakes and Gary Sheffield. Okay, so here's my thing about Paxton, okay? he kind He's kind of similar to Dustin May in the fact that he doesn't really have that out pitch, right? He doesn't have the slider or pitch that you can ultimately strike people out on. Yes, I had 10 strikeouts, but my opponent was like very late on fastballs and would chase a lot of the changeups. So it's kind of able to keep him off balance. Again, he does have the sinker and cutter. I'm kind of worried about his sinker didn't really really look like it broke that much. It was kind of hard to control. His cutter, on the other hand, is just filthy. If you're able to spot it, it's around 91, where his fastball is at 98, basically. So overall, again, this is a very, very good free card. Will he be as good as Kluber and the other top pitchers? Maybe not, but I think you're going to be able to use him as like a five or probably like a five starter. And kind of mix them in. I get a lefty 
what a sinker cutter fastball what more can you ask for and he's free again not the best pitcher but i think he's going to be able to get the job done but i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you guys did make sure you guys hit that subscribe button while you're there don't forget to hit that thumbs up and until next time i love you guys i appreciate you guys and i'm out